cycle analysis for you, my friend. Tell me about your family. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's enough seats and couches here. Hello, insiders. News flash time. There is a beta that is coming out where we're testing a new feature where when someone subscribes to your channel, you can send them or display like a custom message like, hey, thanks for joining the Insider Nation. So it's still kind of in a limited test. We'll see if uh, creators and viewers uh, react positively to it. But if you see it, that's one of the experiments that's uh, out there in the wild. Next, uh, we have a news initiative and a bunch of announcements that came out uh, on a blog post, on an official company blog post, link below. In there, uh, we talk about what YouTube is doing around top news shelf, breaking news shelf, info panels, all that kind of stuff. So if you're a creator that talks about news, uh, check out that uh, announcement, link below. Next, uh, in Studio Classic, the video editor, we are deprecating the enhancements feature. So that's like slow motion, filters, we looked at the data, almost no one uses it. Um, those are types of enhancements that are very common in the core video editing tools that, uh, that creators use before they upload. Uh, and it was also um, becoming quite expensive to maintain and, and kind of keep those features going. Um, but the good news is we are taking that same uh, team and redoubling our efforts around the Studio Beta Editor, which will um, already uh, is in beta testing for end screens. So I know everybody's been waiting to get end screens into the studio beta. Uh, I actually used it for Creator Insider, added an end screen to a test video, worked pretty good. I also just saw the designs for info cards, so that's in process as well. Uh, so some, some new stuff coming. And thanks to all the insiders who responded to our community post, um, where we asked for volunteers to help us do some really al early alpha testing of the Studio Beta Editor. And uh, thank you for volunteering. We've activated most of the accounts of people who volunteered. Please send feedback to um, the alias that I can't remember, but we'll put it on the video here. Uh, if you've used the end screen beta, that will go directly to the Studio Beta Editor team to help make sure that that end screen experience is as good as it can be. Speaking of the Studio Beta, we also got feedback on the YouTube Analytics section. We have this latest activity card, which we just launched a few weeks ago, uh, which is used to be known like real-time reports. Um, and people are saying, hey, I, don't, I can't toggle between 60 minutes and 48 hours. Good news, you can do that now. So thank you for that feedback. We improved that product. And with the Studio Beta, you keep that feedback coming in that little feedback link and uh, uh, on the comments below and we'll just keep sort of making the product better. Um, some stuff on the horizon uh, is we are now working on groups and comparisons in YouTube Analytics in the Studio Beta, another thing that people have been asking for. Oh, some people were complaining saying, hey, it's hard for me to edit metadata in the Studio Beta. It's like a poem. Everything is rhyming with Ada. At any rate, uh, if you want to edit your metadata in the Studio Beta, that is already possible. Uh, click on the name of your video, and then on the left-hand side, there's going to be... <laughs> Our camera person's laughing at my poetry. Uh, good times. It's Friday. No, it's not even Friday. Whatever. <laughs> okay, a lot of people have been saying they can't edit their metadata <laughs> A lot of hee hee hee! Woo! Okay. <coughs> All right, focus. Metadata. Metadata. Last item, a lot of people have been saying, I can't edit my title and thumbnails and tags in the Studio Beta. You can. Number one, you just click on the video title in the video list, and then go on the left-hand side, and you'll see a option that says Info. And when you click on that, you'll see all of the stuff you can edit about that video. Thumbnail, title, tags, privacy settings, yada, yada, yada. It's all there. Um, but we hear the feedback that that's a discoverability issue. So we wanted to um, call out what, how to do it now. And then, of course, we'll improve the discoverability of it in the, uni in the United States. 
<laughs> in the UI. Uh, so we just want to let you know. So that's how you get there. And of course, we'll continue improving the user interface so it'll be easier to find it later. That's it for this week. In the meantime, keep it real. All right, hopefully one of those two you can work. <laughs> we have the fun part. We have the fun part. So number one, last video we did where Gordon and I spent a lot of time doing that movie quote, I think there was only one guess that I could find. That was one correct guess, and that was from Jerry Reiner, and he guessed A Few Good Men. He said, well, I want to say Crimson Tide, but I'm going to say A Few Good Men. Crimson Tide, also a fantastic movie, but the answer was A Few Good Men. Uh, next, I also want to uh, call out Creator Fundamentals, a channel that did a live stream and mention good old Creator Insider. Uh, so thank you for hosting a wonderful live stream and mentioning Creator Insider. We always appreciate getting the word out. Just so you know, we are going to make it very prominent Creator Insider on the Studio Beta dashboard, but not everybody is using Studio Beta, but soon everybody will be, and so that will be more ways for people to learn about this channel. And lastly, um, there's a guy, Sean Lindsay. Hey, Sean. Uh, who has been very helpful in the comments on the Creator Insider channel, responding and clarifying points where some, maybe some people are, uh, have, maybe don't have all the information, and then he's sort of clarifying. I think someone was saying, hey, I got defaulted into Studio Beta, and there's no way to go back to Classic. And then I think Sean said, well, there's this little button on the bottom left, and you can click it and go over there. So thank you, Sean, and everybody else who tries to uh, provide as much information as possible. Like, in a way, like, even if you don't agree with everything we do, if you just help us get the information out there, I think it's a big step forward. Okay, with that, we have this week's movie quote for Newsflash. This is going to be a short one. It's going to be a short one. Um, and I'll give you a hint. Uh, if you're not older, <laughs> you may not know it. This is a middle-aged person quote. I can say that because I'm in that category. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> I gotta get in character. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm supersonic. I'll be there in 30 seconds. Okay, that's, that's hint number one. Now, if you know the answer, you should put it below. Now, because this is a middle-aged person's movie, I'm gonna give a second quote which is going to give it away. So if you put the answer in below and you got it with the first one, like major props, I feel the need, the need for speed. That's it.